So while visiting Chamonix, we did a little bit of sport climbing as well, and we went to two cracks. One very, very good, and one that was just completely terrible. Watch this video and find out which. But just before we start looking at two sport climbing cracks that we visited, then leave a comment below if you have been climbing around uh, Chamonix uh, and have some good insights on where to go sport climbing. So to start off with a terrible one, we went to Le Galan, which is downtown Chamonix. We were tempted about the location because it was so close to the city, but it is just completely overpopulated. We had a very hard time actually finding some routes that we could climb that was within the grades that we would like to climb. And it's a pretty loud place too. The soundtrack of Le Geland would sound like this. The major crack, the Grand Galan, that is almost only grade 3 or grade 4 or grade 5 climbs, which is, which is good for the beginner. But if you're just a little bit more experienced, I would definitely not recommend going here. So the good sport climbing crack that we went to, that's actually a, a hidden gem, at least to me. Uh, we took the lift from Chamonix up to Le Prévin, um and found our crack up there, uh, just below the lift station. There's a few multi-pitch climbs as well, and then there's this, uh, this crack with, uh, with two sectors. It's mainly grade 6 climbing, which is super, super fine. It's really good granite, there's some cracks, and it's super fun climbing. What you should be aware about regarding that crack is that uh, it's hidden from the sun, so there could be a lot of snow uh, and it could be a bit cold up there. to either Le Galand or Brevant and uh, did some sport climbing there, let us know by leaving a comment below or if you have any other suggestions of where you should go sport climbing around um, Chamonix, then uh, let everyone know as well. <laughs> 